Welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're a new subscriber, hi, my name is Mana underscore B. Today I have a hair video for you guys from my wavy hair. Let me actually take this moment to drag you guys because you guys are always complaining about hair videos and how much you can't you know take any more of hair videos but it's actually weird because my dms are full of hair questions which is just very weird like i don't get it guys leave a line like oh, what do you guys want so since you guys don't know what you want and i know what you guys want because my dms are full of your guys hair questions i have decided to uh basically bring back the informative hair videos so my hair videos are only are not only going to be reviews but i'm also going to add something informative in the video uh, so in this video i am going to be showing you how i get my curls to last the products i use the method i use and how i just keep my curls to last for let's say 24 hours and for them to look luscious healthy and moisturized for a long time because I think we all know that when it comes to curly hair if you don't give it attention if you don't moisturize if you don't brush it out you are going to look crazy by the end of the day so if you want to see how I get my curls to look this cute for a long time or basically the whole day keep on watching so guys the hair comes in this beautiful sunset box these are all the details of my wavy hair they also came in with some stickins they gave me two wig caps a very fancy comb and the hair comes in this ziplock it is neatly packed and you shouldn't be worried about the hair maybe <laughs> going missing or getting out of the box uh during transit and uh this is the hair this is the inside of the wig standard wig it is neatly made there are no threads that are hanging out it is well made and this is how the deep wave looks she's gorgeous so this hair is a 12 inch deep wave uh wig and it also is 100 and 150 density and as you can see the frontal is pre-packed and this is transparent lace so I think we all know how to <laughs> put on a wig by now but if you're new to the wig game uh, this is how I do mine I sometimes honestly sometimes put on foundation on my wig cap if I feel like my wig cap is too white and and then I'll just like take on the wig and put it on just to measure how I want the wig to sit and what I want maybe to pluck out or you know where I should cut and just how I just want the wig to fit but for this one I didn't really need to pluck anything out because as I mentioned the lace is already pre-plugged I love using hair ties when I'm cleaning down my wig because I feel like it is so much better than the um, as you call it the clips that you sometimes get in the hair I feel like a hair tie ties the hair like it moves the hair from your back and I feel like I feel like it's just for me I just prefer the hair tie guys uh, I know some people prefer the what you call it the the pins but I personally prefer the hair tie so as you can see I'm just you know seeing how the wig is gonna fit and then I'm gonna go in with my rubbing alcohol just to remove any oils or any dirt that I have around my hairline and that's where I usually stick on my wig so I don't want there to be any oils because you know if there are oils your glue is just gonna be funky and it's not gonna look cute so I'm then going to just use my freeze blast which for me it's just an easier option like honestly speaking the free blast the freeze blast sorry the got to be freeze blast 
is honestly just very simple and also if you don't want to wear your wig for a long time i honestly feel like it is super easy please don't be like me and use your fingers because your fingers do have a lot of oils and can basically ruin and create a white cast when you are using your fingers here i am using a cotton pad with rubbing alcohol i feel like that's the best solution to the problem i'm currently facing which is <laughs> the glue dripping uh use a cotton pad don't use your fingers unless if you're 100 percent sure that your fingers are clean or you can also use a rat tail rat, woo, rat tail comb uh that is also clean and i'm just wiping off the excess with some rubbing alcohol and then i'm going to just glue down my lace without doing anything i feel like this is like a, a lazy way of how i usually will do my wig if i'm extremely lazy and i just want it on uh, i don't like i don't know but this is just for me the easy way out when it comes to putting on a frontal i will then tie the frontal with a uh, this elastic band you can use you can also use a silk scarf if you don't like how uh the results of the elastic band and i'm just going to let it dry guys i'm going to go i think i went to go eat while i was waiting for this thing to dry if i'm not being if i'm not like if i'm being honest i think i went to go eat uh did i go eat no i didn't actually i just checked on it for one last time to see if uh all the parts that I needed to be saturated in the got to be glue and the um, basically if all the parts were stuck on properly I'm sorry guys I got distracted I was I'm just checking if all the the parts that I needed to be glued down are stuck on properly and right now I'm just doing due diligence and I'm doing that and I'm gonna put on my scarf or my elastic band I mean uh, back on and then Giyohama. <laughs> so guys before i actually went to go officially eat i took that time to cut off the excess lace in front uh when it comes to cutting off excess lace guys it is very tricky for me i basically i don't have a method i just you know i do what i can guys i let god take the wheel um I know you shouldn't cut it straight one thing i can tell you that you shouldn't be cutting it straight you should basically just um zigzag it if you don't want to zigzag it just use like a razor or you know the the what do you call it the sharpest point of your scissor to just cut it off i don't know how to explain it but as if you're using a razor but i'm back now please don't ask me how this makeup got into my face i don't know i woke up like that god Put that makeup on my face i'm joking guys i went on to go put on my makeup and i forgot to show you the parts where i'm cutting off the excess lace but i feel like we know by now like that's not important that's what we're not here for like we're not here for that we are here on uh how to get your curly wig to look luscious and um healthy for the whole day if that makes sense <laughs> So I am trying to figure out if I want a middle part or I just want a free part if that makes sense like no part but I ended up going with a middle part because for me that is the best look for me a bob that is curly and is um, has a is in a middle part style is the best for me so now we're getting into the serious stuff which is prepping the what you call it prepping the wig or the curls for the product that i'm going to use but this is super important guys you can either use plain water or you can use water that has uh, a little bit of conditioner on it it is preference uh, for me i use both but today i'm just using plain water i feel like sometimes when i use conditioner on the hair it does uh get uh how can i say it? dirty is like it gets dirty or it just has a lot of product on it early so i have to wash my wig like many many times if that makes sense oh guys my brain is insufficient today but um so saturating the water the, the hair with water helps a lot i feel like it also just helps with defining the curls and just bringing back the curl pattern 
Guys, uh, please, 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 please don't make your wig to be dripping wet. I don't know if that makes sense. Just saturated enough that it's wet, but it's not dripping. Because I feel like if you do that, your wig is not going to smell nice, if that makes sense. <laughs> If that makes sense so please don't don't be like me and use a fine tooth comb to brush your your curls because for me I feel like that damages the curls and can sometimes just like why am I doing I'm so mad why am I doing that I'm joking guys it's not a change my guys but the best product or the best tool to use when brushing your curls is a brush as you can see in the end that's Landa and uh, I went and used a brush so can you see how well the brush helps with uh, defining the curl of the of the wig it just makes the wig like it just for me it just helps with the process and I, I'm going in with my favorite mousse guys I don't know how many times I've told you guys to go buy this mousse so I'm not gonna tell you anymore just use any mousse that you want to use uh, but for me this is the one mousse that will keep the curls intact for a long time but also uh this is product and hair at the same time i feel like the hair the quality of the hair is so good that i don't even need that much product to define the curls if that makes sense this hair is amazing the quality is amazing i highly recommend it it is from my wavy hair all the description and everything that has to do with the hair the website the the hair the specs everything will be in my description box below but just remember that the hair is from my wavy hair you can go on google and type my wavy hair it will redirect you to the website the hair is quite good the only qualms i have about this hair is that i wish the lace was hd and if that was the case this was going to be my uh in my top five of my best hairs if that makes sense but uh so after i saturate my hair with product and some water i use a hair tie for the hair to dry and i also take this opportunity to saturate the ends of my hair i need that those ends to be wet it helps with how long the style lasts so when my hair is dry to my liking if that makes sense i don't want it to be bone dry i want it to be just in the middle you can wait until the hair is, is bone dry but i don't wait that long i don't have the patience and also i feel like i prefer my curls to look almost like damp like a wet look that's not too wet if that makes sense you know i'm just manipulating the hair feeling the hair because it's great quality as you can see the curls are defined and they're not going anywhere for me, this hair, I honestly, 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 I feel like the one style that I will always go back to is a curly bob. And for me, I feel like it looks good on everyone. So if you are looking for a curly bob, please, please, please check out my wavy hair and check out this hair in specific. I really, really love the texture of this hair and the quality of this hair. But anyway, my husband is uh telling me that i look nice and he's giving me many many compliments hence i'm smiling but anyway guys thank you for watching don't forget to comment and like and subscribe bye